It's your boy E. Wilson and JTC is on the move. I'm right over here in the great city of Euless, Texas. Listen, the day after my Pittsburgh Steelers lost to the Denver Broncos. Hats off. Uh, this is how we roll. This, this is a side note. This is how we roll. We don't change. We don't hide. We don't start throwing our quarterback or any of our players under the bus. But the thing, I wanted to shoot this video before the game because when I was listening to people and the analysts, they didn't really give Pittsburgh much of a chance. Why? Because Antonio Brown, our star receiver, probably the best wide receiver in the league, was out. Uh, it was questionable whether our quarterback could throw the ball 30 yards. You know, we've already lost our starting running back, Le'Veon Bell, near the, you know, four or five games into the season. And so I was excited because y'all didn't believe that we could win. And let me see, let me, you know, so you say, E, but you lost. But I believe, knowing Coach Tomlin, the Pittsburgh Steelers went into that game knowing they can win. And guess what? If we didn't fumble the ball, we'd have got them. Without our receiver, without our star running back, and with a quarterback that they said could only throw the ball 30, 40 yards, whatever. And so the challenge today is you're always going to have facts that's going to come into your life. But are you going to believe for better or are you going to rest on the facts? I choose to believe the better. Because listen, yesterday they almost pulled it off. Because I believe they believe they could win. They could win. And so my encouragement today is it does not matter in life when you're trying to accomplish things. There's always going to be factors that's going to come against you. But you got to hold on to whatever it is that you believe. You can't let go of what you believe. Once you do that, you're done. So the question is today, what are you facing? And do you believe you can come out? That's where it starts. You got to believe that you can do this. I don't know what it is, but you got to believe. And I got to call my boy Rodney True Story Hunter out on this one. He's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, but I've talked to the executive board and of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we're going to have to have a meeting with you because you can't sell us down the river on the facts. Because in life, the facts don't matter. Do you believe? Because if you believe, you'll have what you say. So this is your boy E. Wilson right here. JTC is on the move. Listen, forget about the facts. Do you believe? Anybody who's made it has to, had to disregard the facts. They're there. They're factors. But your belief can take you past that. Remember, if you're going to have a conversation, make it a good one. Rodney's two-story I'm on my way to your house right now. We got to talk. I'm out.